Oke, okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi everybody, welcome back to the English Vocabulary and Pronunciation Practice Class. And in today's meeting, we will discuss about the very simple thing. It's gonna be about uh, the word, uh, the letter I, and it's supposed to be pronounced E. And the letter E, it's supposed to be pronounced E. Okay, now let's uh, let's take a look at this materials. Let me share screen for you. All right, I believe everyone can see this. And now please pay attention on this. Yeah, I will play the cassettes. Unit one, introductory unit. I, I, e. Egg. Task one. Well, every time the speaker mention a word, please uh, follow it, okay? Follow it. Distinguish between e and e. One, one. Listen. Pig. 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 Head. Head. Fill. Fill. Fell. Middle. 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 Chick. Chick. Check. Check. Miss. 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 Mess. Hit. 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 Lift. Left, left, left. Sit, 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 sit. Lead, 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 lead. One, two. Listen to these words. Write the words you hear. One. Okay, in this part, please prepare your uh, paper or any kinds of book and also a pen and then write the word you hear. Pig. Two. Hit. Three. Fill. Four. Miss. Five. Check. Six. Miss. Seven, pet. Eight, left. Nine, sit. Ten, lid. Eleven, head. Twelve, mess. One, three. Listen to these sentences. For each one, write the word you hear. One. Okay, in this chance, you have to write which one you listen. Okay? Uh, there you can see, for example, number one, I'm waiting for the bill or bell. Now, you, you can circle or write here. Yeah? You can circle or write uh, the word that you hear. Okay? I'm waiting for the bell. Two, whose pen is that? Three, he had tin boxes. Four, she gave me a chick. Five, the lead has been stolen. Six, the hidden will was discovered. Unit one, task two, say, if two a listen this week's interview tim fitzwilliam our visitor this evening is the film director tim fitzwilliam this year's winner of the silver wings film prize his prize-winning film dinner at the ritz is set in india 
Tim lived in India till he was 16 and still visits India frequently. The fifth son of an Irish father and an Indian mother, he is an Irish citizen but lives in England. All right. Now you have uh, listened to these kinds of interview with Tim Fitzwilliam. Now, uh, at home, yeah, at your own home, of course, it, whatever, yeah, whatever, not only home. Please uh, study again this one, yeah, study again this one, all right, and then follow the pronunciation as what the speaker said based on uh, the MP3, okay? All right, this is your first duty, all right? Okay, now let's go to the next units. To be, listen to these sentences with rising question tags. The speaker isn't sure. He's asking the other person to confirm. Tim Fitzwilliam isn't English, is he? He won the Silver Wings Film Prize, didn't he? Okay, let me repeat once more. Question tags. The speaker isn't sure. He's asking the other person to confirm. Tim Fitzwilliam isn't English, is he? He won the Silver Wings Film Prize, didn't he? All right, now take a look again this sentence here. Yeah. Tim Fitzwilliam isn't English, is he? So when you want to make sure, when you want, uh, if you want to make sure to someone, yeah, pengen memastikan, uh, you use raise arrow like this, arrow, okay? This one is arrow. And this one is down arrow, okay? Look, the sentence with rising question text, the speaker isn't sure. So he is asking to another person to confirm. Ini teman-teman yang dipakai untuk confirm, konfirmasi apakah benar atau salah, ya. Tim Fitzwilliam isn't English, is he? Tim Fitzwilliam itu bukan orang Inggris, kan? Gitu ya maksudnya ya. Nah, so, yang ini English, sebelum koma, ini harus nadanya turun, ya. After koma, after koma, ya, nadanya naik. Alright? Nah, it is also the same with the second sentence. He won the Silver Wings Film Prize, didn't he? Okay, yang ini down arrow, yang ini up arrow. Okay, now you can practice, yeah? Practice from this sentence. Silakan dipraktekkan sendiri, pakai kalimat-kalimat ini. Okay, nah itu your second job. All right, you practice it by yourself, all right? Practice it by yourself. Okay. All right, I think uh, uh, we can go to next task four, yeah? Four one. Now let's listen again to the uh, recording carefully. Now ask and answer the questions on page 24. Unit one, task four, say I and E. Four one, listen to these phrases. English weather, thrilling tennis, guilty men, silly questions, red scissors, healthy living, Expensive gifts, excellent singing. 4-2-A, listen to this conversation. Where were you on Wednesday? I telephoned, but you weren't in. I went to Wimbledon to watch the tennis competition. Did you enjoy yourself? Yes, I did. The weather wasn't very good, but the tennis was thrilling. 4-2-B. Make similar conversations using the points on page 26. In okay. Now, after you listen to 4 to A, this one, yeah, this one, 4 to B, you make similar conversation using the points below. For example, um, you can change the day, yeah? You can, uh, you can change the day, for example. Where were you on Wednesday? I telephoned, but you weren't in. 
You can say B, I went swimming to make me feel healthy. Oke, okay? to make me feel healthy. So yang diganti cuman yang poin B aja teman-teman ya. Yang diganti hanya poin B aja ini. And then A tanya lagi, did you enjoy yourself? And B answer, yes I did. Uh, then you can answer anything. Alright. Oh, oke. Okay. Let me repeat one more time. So you make questions ya. Yeah, with your friends. Or you can also imagine you as yourself ya. Yeah. You as A and also as B. Like what I do. So for example, you make own questions. And you answer by yourself. For example, where were you on Wednesday? I telephoned but you went in. Okay. You can say, sorry, I went to where? For example, Gor Sidoarjo or whatever it is. Yeah. I went to Gor, Gor Sidoarjo. Uh, then you can say, uh, I went swimming. Or you can also say to watch swimming competition. It's up to you. All right. And then A again, did you enjoy yourself? B answer, yes, I did. This one, it made me feel healthy. Okay, so in this one, B this one, you can say directly, I went swimming. Atau you can also say, I went to somewhere, place, ya, tempatnya di mana. For swimming, misalnya, or to what swimming competition, terserah, terserah, boleh. Free. Okay, nah, and then you ask again by yourself, did you enjoy yourself? And you answer, yes, I did. The weather wasn't, uh, yes, I did. It made me feel healthy. Jadi jawabannya yang B ini jawabannya ada di sini swimming dan alasannya ini. Ah, you can find the other example ya. Yeah. Uh, you can try the other answer like going to the cinema because the film the best film I've ever seen and then to an English lesson it's terrible to buy a leather coat to buy a leather coat too heavy and very expensive. Nah ini, ini, ini uh, setiap jawaban yang ada di poin B. Oke, okay? poin B, this is B yang pertama, B yang kedua yang ini. Ini juga, this is the first B, ya, B yang pertama, ini juga B yang kedua. Oke, okay? please practice by yourself. Alright, now uh, let's listen to 4 to C. Yeah, you will listen to the questions. Notice the intonation and then ask and answer the questions. Okay, notice the intonation. Now you learn how to notice the intonation. Dependent students, take the part of B. You can listen to A. Where were you on Wednesday? I telephoned, but you weren't in. I went swimming. Did you enjoy yourself? Yes, I did. It made me feel healthy. Or nah, to kayak gitu ya, teman -teman ya. Now listen, listen to these to questions. This. Notice the intonation. One. Where did B go? When did she go there? Two. Did B enjoy herself? Did A go to Wimbledon as well? Did A go to Three. Wimbledon as well? Did A write Did to B A or telephone her? Write to B or telephone her. What do they play at Wimbledon? What do they Tennis play at Wimbledon? or football? Tennis or football. Now ask and answer the questions on page 26. Or to D. Okay. All right, so that's it, the uh, material for pronunciation today, yeah? Remember your job, okay? Remember your job the first time. You have to fill in all the questions, yeah? Fill in all the questions, all the words. And then the second, you follow 2A, point 2A. You follow what the uh, announcer say, yeah? Let me repeat for you one more time for this. Okay, let's take a look at this, yeah? Nah, this is your job, guys. All right, this one. 
This week's interview, Tim Fitzwilliam. Our visitor this evening is the film director, Tim Fitzwilliam, this year's winner of the Silver Wings for Film Prize. His prize-winning film, Do You Know Where the Ritz? It's set in India. Tim lived in India till he was 16 and still visits India frequently. The fifth son of an Irish father and an Indian mother, he is an Irish citizen but lives in England. All right? Now, please, uh, your turn to read this and then record in your uh, e-learning. All right? So I'll be waiting for you to record the, uh, in the e-learning. Yeah, I will write down again the instruction of the task of the duty that you have to do today. All right. So thank you very much. See you on e-learning. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.